Hello guys and welcome to another video. Once again I'd like to talk a little bit about one of my products, um, this time about the Dynamic Beta, again because I already did a video. Um, if you haven't watched it I would absolutely recommend to do so, I will put the link in the description because this video should be some sort of add-on to the first video. I don't want to talk that much about the benefits and general construction of the beta, I just want to help a little bit and make it more clear what rate options you have and yeah, in general what the beta is all about. So basically if you take a look at my online shop beside the two color options black and silver you can choose to have a wooden surface or a felt surface and to have the beta in a heavy or in a regular setup. The beta itself is always the same, so the standard beta in both versions looks like this. The only difference are the surface discs. So for example you can see here the light or regular rated felt disc and the light or regular rated wood disc. Um, these are made out of aluminium and I just made these holes inside to make the difference a little bit more clear and you don't have to compare the heavy and the regular surface disc all the time. And they are yeah pretty much the same in terms of weight. The wooden surface of course gives you a little bit more attack. Both have a pretty decent base because the surface is almost completely flat. The other option in terms of the surface discs are the um, heavy versions in a felt or in a wood option. These are made out of stainless steel and don't have these holes in the back so it should be a little bit easier to see the difference just by looking at them. As I already said the beta is on both versions the same. The main part of the beta offers this little extra weight which is about 9 grams. So what you can do is you can take it out to have the lightest option possible. Of course with the light felt disc. So this is just the weight. Put it aside. Um, and in this setup with the light wood or felt disc um, the beta is at about 69 grams. That's a um, little less than the standard iron Kerber beta for example. Um, you can compare it to the trick beta if you know it or if you played it once. It's a really really light setup. So this is this ultra high tech speedy setup some people prefer to use. Um, but you can go way 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 more on the other side, on the heavy side. Um, because this beta just looks a little bit high tech and ultra light spaceship. You can go from, as I already mentioned, from 69 grams to almost 100 grams. Which is way on the top end of all the average beta rates. So the other option would be, or the next option would be to put this weight in again and to use the regular weighted surface disc like this and then you are at about 78 grams and that's pretty similar to a standard iron cover beta or also to a standard bird beta, this, this quad beta. So that's a, the, I would say the regular setup. Um, the next step would be to take off the regular felt disc or regular wood disc, whatever you prefer, and put on the heavy belt or wooden disc. And then you, once again, you have to get rid of this extra weight. And then you are at about 87 grams. So it's a little bit more. And the last option would be the full heavy setup with the heavy disc and the extra weight already attached. And then you are at 96 to 97 grams. So close to 100 grams, for example, to compare it to uh, Axis Sonic Hammer Beater. This one is about at 125 grams if I remember correctly. So this one is on the very top end heavy side. It's the heaviest beater I have in my um, collection. And yeah, so basically with just minor changes you can go from a ultra light speedy setup to a pretty heavy feeling solid beater setup. So to make it short or to summarize everything up um, the light setup is the light disc without the weight at about 69 grams. The next step would be the light disc and the extra weight in which is at 78 grams. The next step would be the heavy disc without the weight 
at 87 grams and the last setup with the heavy disc and the heavy weight is at 96 grams in total. Select whatever option you prefer from stock and then with the additional surface disc you can try out the different surfaces and different weight options. One of the main features I wanted to have with the speeder was to have it as most universal as possible in terms of weight and also to have the option to just replace the parts that get worn out. So for example if you use the um, felt disc and you in combination with a coated drum head it won't last forever but you don't have to throw the whole beater away and buy a new one you can just get a new disc and you're good to go again. The wooden disc almost lasts forever so in my time playing the beater I didn't have to replace any of these but you also have the option to do so if you want and to and you also have the option to swap out the weights within just a few seconds if you have a different style of playing in between songs of a set or whatever so yeah that's it with this video i hope i was able to explain the difference between the options a little bit more clear um if there are any questions left feel free to contact me on facebook instagram um, I don't have Twitter or something like this, but writing me an email is always the best option. So yeah, until then, have a nice week and see you soon. Cheers!